Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to this Next.js and Strapi tutorial series. In a previous video, we implemented two reducers, the date reducers, to pass the dates attached to uh, a particular job, uh, and the skills reducers, right? So to be able to pass the skills that are related to a particular uh, job as well, right? But so far, they do us no, they have no use to us because we are not using them in the in the jobs that we are returning here because so far we are still returning the raw jobs all over the place so in this video we're going to implement a job reducer which is going to leverage on all of that because if you look at a particular job we see that still so far we are returning everything raw so for example the company is not passed right so the company is still uh, exactly as it is coming out of uh, uh, strapi which we don't want and similarly the scale stacks are coming right as they are um, uh, in the uh, uh, in the strapi cms okay so we we want to pass that as well so let's do that now i'm going to implement another yet another reducer this time i'm going to call it jobs reducer okay and it's going to get as input a raw job okay let's leave it like this for now there's something else that we need to take into consideration but i'm going to come back to that i'm going to come to that very shortly all right so we do exactly like we did for companies so we get the raw job we get all the attributes of that raw job and then we add the id because remember the id is uh, a bit upper the um the the, the, the attributes tree so raw job dot id all right and then job date posted which is one of the attributes that we need to, to pass okay equals to date reducer very good uh, job dot date posted very good that's the first thing now we need to pass the company all right job dot company equals to company reducer very very good equals to job dot company excellent and finally uh, the skills which allows us to use the um, reducer that we just created above job the skill stacks. I think this is how it's called. Very good. Yeah, let's see exactly skill stacks. Excellent. Okay. Now uh, let's try and return this and see what we have. Return jobs, job. Okay. And let's try to use it. Okay. So let's use it, for example, here. Um, not here this is fine okay in this function for instance or let's try let's let's start from the top okay get job by slot this one will definitely need one of these so let's import that function first okay import job reducer very good okay so we're going to need that here like this job reducer excellent um so this is get job by slog excellent so let's try that okay so we have a function that function already uh, actually not so let's try to do let's get one of the slogs here all right so this guy here excellent let's get this one this slog and let's create a function that's gonna return what we need so const data equals await data source dot get job by slog okay and we're going to pass in as input to that function uh the slog indeed and let's see excellent let's refresh this you see um it's going to give us an error all right which is more or less expected because we are not yet passing really we are not yet passing uh, everything really so first of all let's see i think okay all right very good so one thing that we need to do firstly is to make sure that you're passing um the related jobs because remember if i return the raw job here uh, just to just temporarily i return the raw job like this okay and uh, let's see why uh, we're having that issue So if I look at the, the related jobs, you see that um, this attribute here, we are not passing this. I'm not sure this is the, the, the problem though. Um, let me go back and 
coming this out i'm going to create a different page so i can see what's happening all right so cannot read um image field all right it looks like i'm sending in something that's not that's not good all right i see why okay it should be data here data excellent like this because that's what we have here once you are looking at the company of a job okay the data is what we need to send in to the reducer okay so let's try that again all right um, let me go to the utils i've commented that out excellent so you see now we are we are returning the um the right data excellent so it's looking really good right except the related jobs are still not passed everything here is completely passed um the skills tags obviously they're still there uh, but what we are using in the front end is the skills okay or even though we are sending the the whole the, the, the previous version what the front end need is this attribute which, which we have added successfully okay so the last thing that's pending is passing the related jobs right so here uh, this is the, the one that we haven't passed yet and you can see here the related jobs still have the format that we don't want data dot attributes and so on and so forth and the companies are also not passed okay and if you remember from our schema uh, and just by the name itself related jobs means that this is a list of jobs uh, so we have sort of a, a, rec a, a a reflexive relation right so we need a way to make this function recursive okay so let's have let's do that by adding an attribute here called pass pass related jobs and this is an attribute that we're going to use to decide whether or not to stop the recursion okay so what you're going to do here is if this is set to none to, to false okay so pass related jobs okay what you want to do is if we do not want to pass them okay so what you're going to do is simply add related jobs like this we're going to overwrite it to the empty array else we want to pass it so what you want to do is good job related jobs equals to um, related jobs and then data and then map and then for each of these uh, related job, what you want to do is we want to do the return the past version of it, right? So job reducer, job reducer. So you see, we do a recursion here, related job. And then obviously when we are returning the related jobs, we want to stop the recursion. We want to send false so to stop the recursion right um so that when it gets inside the function again it will not call this branch of the the um, the execution anymore right and once you're done with that we are, we are fine we can um uh, return the job now and it's going to be passed so by default once you're when you're calling this function here from our um from our um um, um data source uh functions by default is true okay but when you're calling it in the recursion like here okay in the in this branch we pass in false okay and that prevents from having an infinite loop so let's see how it looks in the front end let's see if our fit our related jobs are being passed uh this seems to be an issue here uh related jobs all right i think yeah forgot to create that attribute so let's create related jobs somewhere here equals to job dot related jobs or the empty array very good let's try that again excellent so everything is passed so this is one job uh, with many attributes of the company the related jobs now they are passed as well excellent we have to create that and so on the date posted very well uh, like it like it is here and then the company uh, passed as well excellent everything looks really good so now that it's working let's try to have that uh, all over the place in our um, in our uh, um, data source so everywhere we are returning row jobs you're going to return the past version of them so we're going to do the same thing here so what i'm going to do is const 
jobs equals to uh, i'm gonna map on this one map row job okay and i'm gonna return just like we did earlier okay row job and then i'm returning now the jobs that are passed excellent and i do the same thing so this is get jobs by company id okay and i just gonna copy this chunk and just replicate it here like this okay excellent very very good all right search for jobs i think this function will need that as well all right excellent this is great so let's try and uh, do the same thing for get jobs okay so let's go back to our strapi and uh, comment this out like this uh, of this and see what we get. Uh, da, 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 da. There's something wrong. All right, all right, all right. What am I doing wrong? Oh yeah, I see. Uh, definitely because um, yeah, in the in the functions here, you can see that when you are getting the when you're sending the query, get jobs. We are not adding the um. For example, if I add the attribute here, because we are not telling Strapi to fetch the related jobs, that's why if I add the attribute now, it will it will work. Um, actually not. Oh yeah, it's because we are getting the related jobs, but we are not going deep down. So for example, if I go for company, uh, but I'm gonna do it temporarily, but that's not what we want. Okay, so logo, and I'm gonna do the same thing for uh, cover image. And I think I need, let me, anything that I'm adding now, I'm going to remove later on. But it's just for you to see um, something that's very interesting, I think. So we get the related jobs. Okay. Then we get the related jobs company. And then, the, okay. So now everything should work. Uh, still not, still not. Um, <laughs> interesting related jobs company oh cover image this one should be cover image let's try that. oh no stupid me i should add company here all right let's try that again excellent you see now it works right so for each related jobs we fetch those uh, nested attributes so we fetch the company uh, the, the logo and so on and so forth but truly we don't need all these things here okay so like when you're fetching um, uh, a list of jobs because this is at the listing stage okay which are supposed to be displayed on the listing uh, we don't need the related jobs right when you're displaying the um, when we're, like in the view layer okay uh, this function get jobs is supposed to be displayed in a cart, right? So we need a very minimal set of information when we're displaying uh, jobs in a cart. Okay, so at that stage, the related jobs are not needed. So we're going to remove this here. But when we remove that, we need to make sure that our reducer is aware of the fact that we are not interested in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the related jobs so we're going to pass in the second attribute pass related jobs you're going to pass in false okay so now if you try that again now that you like if i remove this if i add this and i try this it's going to fail okay but if i pass in that attribute back it's going to succeed now and now for the related jobs um you see that for for each job we don't have the related jobs attribute anymore okay which is not ne needed when you're fetching a list of jobs but when we are fetching a single job that is definitely needed and that's what we have here for instance uh in get job by slog you see that's what exactly what we do here okay and that's why we don't need to add the false flag okay so let's try to fix that as well for get jobs by company id we need to pass in that same thing here we need to pass in false okay every time every time we're fetching things up as plural we need to pass that same thing for the search jobs okay here as well we need to pass in the false flag and i think with that we are done really um, I think with that we are done we have a beautiful parser um, for the jobs that should work really well so now like i said 
before uh, we are passing everything except the rich text so in the next video we're going to see how to pass the rich text and finally uh, use our um, actually if we go already in the app let me try to look at it here uh, like this all right so on next image so on blah 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 all right so the reason is um this is not configured in our um, environment variables so we're going to do that next and see how um, we're going to add um, this uh, to our env.local or i can do that off camera uh, so you don't have to see uh, my environment my, my production values but yeah if we fix this um, and relaunch the app we'll be, we'll be able to fetch the, the data properly because this data definitely do exist uh, in the database but they're not um, our next yes is not configured to load images from this endpoint as of yet so yeah i'll see you in the next video uh, regarding passing the, the rich text and in that video as well we're finally going to be able to deploy our app and it's going to work perfectly well thank you so much for watching and i see you in the next video ciao